Hi folks, I'm Josh and welcome back to Valhalla, or I don't know what it says, it says Z Cyberpunk Val, she's my best friend. <laughs> welcome back, yeah, I've been, I, I took a couple of days break off this game, but now I'm raring to go. Jill is just off her break, um, and now I forget what we were doing with it, but you know what, let's find one we like and make sure it sticks. Is it that one, or is it, there we go. I... Alma! It sure is chilly out there. Alma, are you really back? God, I'm so bored of you. I want a new character. No, I like Alma. Alma's alright. She's uh, She's got just the right amount of sense and sass. The two most important S's in my life. Um, and probably a C. For coffee, coffee. I have coffee. With another C that's quite important to me, cream. And I don't know if you know anything about England, but we don't normally put cream in, in our hot drinks. So this is very special. This is very sp This is very special. And I'm quite enjoying it. I don't know, I, I, I ran out of milk. And um, I decided to treat myself. Anyway, video games, right? The hobo out there seems like a nice guy. <laughs> Billy Vine? Yeah, he's a cool guy, very respectful. I feel like that's probably a reference that I don't get. Or maybe he just says everything over and over in six second loops. I don't, maybe that's it. Apparently he got into some legal trouble and that's why he's like that. Really? He could uh, also just be a very nice crackhead though. I have, I have a co cousin that lives like a hobo actually. Really? It's a bit complicated though. Problem is his family have tried to get him to live with them, but his pride won't let him accept their help. He'd rather live in the streets for some reason. You can't tell with some people, sadly. Maybe he just hates your family. Maybe that's it. <clears throat> Cream doesn't make me burpy. I just burp all the time. If you're new, all the time burps. <laughs> anyway, why did he become a hobo in the first place? Bad investment and debts. Bank evicted him from his house. Oh. It's a serious problem because he has epileptic attacks, but if he refuses to take his medication, I just don't get what's up with him. Honey, some service here? I've forgotten what Dorothy's voice is, but I'm here, don't scream. Oh, were you two hanging out in the back of the bar? What kind of stuff were you doing? Just talking, Dorothy. Chill. I know you're super into the sexy times, and honestly, I, I share that passion. However, not everything, not everything revolves around that. Let's give Dorothy a new voice. Is that what I call it these days? She's got a super suave, posh voice now. What do you want? Something soft, something sweet. No alcohol, please. Wouldn't it be, from the, wouldn't it be the same if you just grabbed a soda from a vending machine? But I like you. Okay. Do you just let my presence on I'm trying to make the same face as that. <laughs> sweet and non-alcoholic, you say. Alright, Dorothy wants something sweet. Um flavor. Just take a sip of this. I'm so sweet. Optional carmatrine, here we go. Ein wait. Is there I think I think there are other things that people don't tend to order. And I, I'm trying to find them. Two aldehyde, one powdered delta. Age, mixed, boom. Sparkle star. I don't think I've made one of those yet. I'm just gonna try and make all the drinks. Anyway, here. Yeah, like you asked. See, you know, she's trying to treat me for a veggie machine. Oh, she stopped crying. <laughs> Unless you're Lawrence. But he has this weird idea that good service is the same as selling lukewarm cans of cola. Lawrence? A friend of mine, he's a vending machine. <laughs> oh, but how impolite of me. Hmm? I'm lovely and my name's Dorothy. What? Dorothy Hayes, nice to meet you. Oh, I'm Al uh, Alma. The pleasure is all mine. Dorothy, you say? Ew. Why? Nothing, I guess I've heard about you before. Really? What kind of stuff? Tell me, tell me. Mostly about your pluckiness. That's a very diplomatic way of saying it. Well done, uh, well done, Alma. Hmm. Change the channel, shall we? Let's have a look at... 
No, uh, yeah, that that makes a change, I suppose. I don't remember there being a blank channel, but whatever. And I'm here, and here I was thinking it was because I'm a sex worker. So much for trying to be subtle. Hey, I take pride in my job, otherwise I wouldn't be doing it. Isn't it dangerous? I know how to take care of myself, thank you very much. Where do you work, Alma? I'm a hacker. Really? A full-fledged hacker? Not the kind that sees a computer logged into some account and says that's hacking, right? No, of course not. I've always, I've always been curious about how being a hacker works. Do you just start typing really fast while waiting for something to happen? No. Actually, I have literally no clue how hackers work. Uh, well, I, I'm assuming they, they eat food, they turn it into energy, and then they poop it out. And then tappity tappity, right? But, like, it's not film-wise. It's like, do program, get into place, break firewall. But how? Me no no. Me stupid. I can explain, I don't know if I'll get it. We won't know until you try, right? Last time I said that I had to jam the plastic replica of a halogen light bulb up a grown man's ass. <laughs> <laughs> it was a success! I'm glad. I'm so glad. Oh, if you've ever seen a halogen light bulb break, that is not something you want anywhere near your holes. <clears throat> okay, then let me try to explain in general how it works. Let's say I have to retrieve information from a company's database. All right, you have to retrieve some company information from a database. First, I do some re research on the targets, OS, servers, how the information is stored and all that. There have been a couple of occasions where I had to go in blind, but they're an exception rather than a rule. First, I secure things from my side. I start working behind proxies. I'm behind 10 proxies! Websites and through other more vulnerable computers I find on the way. Uh-huh. After that, I start testing networks. I'm quite interested in this, actually. I'm genuinely... I don't know if this is realistic. It seems... Maybe. I don't know. I go through the basic protocols, try known exploits as long as they don't trigger any alarm. Once I've tested the ground, the fun starts. I go through all the security pro protocols and look to bypass them. Sometimes I have to look deeper into the code for the password itself. After that, I go and try to become a super user and get what I need. How do you do that? Nice try, Dorothy. Well, there are a couple of ways. I can use a pre-made program to hack into an already existing account. I can use some info someone has already given me, but the usual way is using a buffer overflow. Oh, Dorothy absolutely understands what is happening right now. <laughs> what happened next? What happened next? I create a back... Wait, is this... She... This her kink? I mean, it's always interesting listening to someone who knows what they're talking about, just going super in-depth and getting carried away with it, and you can see the enthusiasm in their eyes. That is so awesome to see. I love people doing that, and I always love to listen to it. However, I've never been, I've never been aroused by it. Not visibly. I create a backdoor into the system before like, uncovering my tracks. I... Go, uh, I go. Oh, her tongue's a heart! That's cute. That's gonna be be the thumbnail, by the way. <laughs> if you haven't seen the, the pattern, I always take the most interesting character portrait. Because they're cool, they're so- I love the pixel art in this. It's great. Alma, hack me! Hack me like you've never hacked anything before! Eh? Make my buffer overflow! Create a backdoor in me! Escalate your user privileges! Find flaws in my security! Mmm, sorry, I couldn't carry it away. No shit, what happened? Have you seen those movies or books where a couple does something like paint a picture or cook, but they make it sound like they're having sex instead? <laughs> Suggestive scenes, yeah. Ah, uh -huh. Really? I guess humans don't really get it because their minds don't upload to networks or anything, but trust me, if you recorded yourself giving a really detailed explanation in a really sexy voice. You'd make millions. Horny Lilim are an unexploited market. I see. Light bulb. 
Oh, looks like my ride is here. Thanks for the tip. Your ride? Yep, my brother-in-law came to look for me. It's all right to ask, ask that from him. It's okay, I've known him since preschool. It just so happens that he got married to my sister. Hey Dorothy, you need a ride? Can you drop me by 3rd Street? Sure, it's on the way. Yay, I'll take your offer then. Bye, honey. Oh, I didn't even... Oh no, we did give her a, a, a drink. Cool, okay. <coughs> Later, Jill. Take care. The street seems... Noisy. Oh, a client. Hello, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? Such a small yet comfortable place. Truly an oasis of spiritual drinks in the midst of suburban deserts. A place where lost and caught up souls can gather to forget their troubles for a while. A nest where everybody of the most pathetic scum to the vilest trash donkeys can just sit to kill their insides. Truly a real persona non grata. That's Latin for mysterious place, by the way. I'm so smart and philosophical. Alright, we got ourselves a persona non grata here. <laughs> what will you have then? Seventeen. Excuse me? I said seventeen. Seven. Plus teen. What does that mean? What does it mean to you? Just to be sure, seventeen about is about the drink you want, right? Only if you want it to be. Fucking hell. <laughs> Maybe I won't make Dorothy the uh, thumbnail. Dear, wow. I think I've made this guy creepier than he is, but like. Uh, tell you what, I mean, the obvious. The obvious is the piano man. Uh, but fuck this, this guy seems like he needs a fedora, so let's, uh, <laughs> cool. Boom! How is this a 17? It isn't. You said 17 would only be related to your drink if I thought it was, and I think it isn't. Ooh, you subverted my expectations by taking me literally sneaky. Sneaky! <laughs> is wait I thought there was a a Jim Sterling character earlier maybe maybe I'm just being rude about fat people maybe that's a subconscious thing but there was definitely a character earlier in the game who was supposed to be Jim Sterling right and what brings you here mister I am Amadina Viriliga Vi Ver, ver, it says, Virgilio, Gilio. See, I introduced myself using the Asian order because that's a lot more polite. Right. And I came here looking for an otherworldly experience. I, I, I do hope you can hear my, my voice. I've been having troubles with my mic recently. So I do hope you can hear the amazing fun that I'm having with this character. <laughs> I was passing by and I saw this place is called Valhalla. I wanted to see the souls of resting warriors, the wounded spirits of noble souls, the golden hall full of never-ending banquets, the lively Valkyries looking over them. We have some arcade machines in the corner. <laughs> no, 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 you're taking me to literally. Maybe that's what a fedora is. Coffee. You see, I'm being poetic. I'm giving a mystical air to a mundane affair. Are you sure that's what you're doing? Are you so sure? <laughs> I wanted to see drunk people. I want to see waitresses and food. I want to see the bar in all of its decadent glory. Well, you're out of luck. Today's been quite on the slow, quite the slow day. Not that I'm very surprised, given how things have been going on the streets, though. 
Humans are a nasty bunch, that much is true. Making a ruckus, coming at each other. Alright. Uh, but that's to be expected from the only mammal to kill its own. I don't think that's true, is it? Oh yeah, then give me an example, not zoologist bartender. Like I said, I don't know exact details, I just know that isn't right. If memory serves, once a lion takes over a pride, every cub born from another lion is killed or something. Pfft, takes over a pride, you can't take over a pride. Pride isn't a tangible thing. You need to stop making things up, not zoolo zoologist bartender. <laughs> I like to. <laughs> this guy's fun. Okay. But going back on topic, do you know what the number 17 means? The atomic number of chlorine. Ooh, Jill fast. No, and Chloe is a name, not a number, you know. A group where halogens are in a pi- oh, whoops. The group where halogens are in a periodic table. Stop making up words like halogens, periodic table. Okay, then I give up. 17 is us. A. Every human has 17 pairs of chromosomes. That number is the whole foundation of you and me. We have 23, I think. Haha! -ha! The game agrees with me. What is? Humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes, not 17. Well, they're both primal number. Primal? Ah! Yes. The stupid on this one is, uh. It's layered on thick. Primal. <laughs> Do you want anything else? I'd like a single plum floating in perfume. That's from something, isn't it? No, that is definitely from something. Okay. There you go. Have a fucking fedora. You dickhead. You didn't... Wait, you did. You've had two now. I will. I'll drink this. Perfume. <laughs> you don't really have to. But that'd be silly you whinge this round, bartender. Hey, bartender. You ever thought about death? How? What if we're already dead, both of us? What? What tells you I even existed before I entered that door? How can you assure me that this reality is real? And real and we are not. In fact, in heaven or hell, all along. What is everything is up to this point is just some stupid story written on an unplanted son 20-something in his room. <laughs> uh, you got me there. <laughs> I could punch you to make you feel reality. <laughs> I don't care about any of that, actually. This reality is real for me, and that's all that matters. Such a close-minded way of seeing things. You need to get away from the factual facts. Open your mind to things beyond your reach. You'll never see... Uh, you'll never reach enlightenment. <laughs> the habanero has started! It means the twilight of the gods in German, by the way. Uh, what? You're an idiot. Enjoy your new world order! Bye-bye. <laughs> couple of nearby cars exploded, it seems. You seem very calm about that. Oh hell, let me take a look out the window. Be careful. Oh shit, that's actually... That sounds like gunshots. Jill, come here a sec. What? About five gigabytes of reports uh, prov proving the several White Knight squads have been used to cover illegal actions were released to the public by an unknown anarchist group. We're receiving reports of several units going rogue and using their weapons to hunt down anyone they find on the street. Shit me! Several counterterrorism forces from the neighboring cities have been dispatched to subdue the crazed units after the plea from the vice president. We're still waiting for a declaration from Zaibatsu Corp CEO on the subject, but until then, things are ugly. In and outside of the bank, it seems. I recommend you stay here tonight. It's too range and dangerous to even think about going outside. What if they break in? They won't. Even then, this bar has quite the security system. And I'll be here protecting you. Oh! Oh, boss! I was going to say senpai, but... You're not my teacher, you're my boss. 
I don't know what the Japanese word for boss is as well. Yeah, I guess I'll stay tonight. I'll get you the spare mattress I have. Do you mind sleeping in my office? No, I guess it's fine. Good. Let's hope everything gets solved by the morning. I'll have Zang can too. On ha what? I've forgotten what that is. That was that was mentioned earlier. Fuck, I've forgotten. The metal bat. <laughs> the metal bat with nails. Oh, okay. There's nothing it can't bash. <laughs> Say Gil for. Oh shit. Hope everything's better by tomorrow. Yeah, they're all. Sleep tight. I'll protect you. Here's three hundred dollars. Awesome. Cool. Oh, I didn't get the flawless service bonus though. Okay, fair enough. But I still got plenty of money. That's good news. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed. And it's starting to heat up. The action is on its way. So until next time, if you want to help me out, then I have a Patreon. But yeah. Late, uh, but mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck me.